The route between Dunlough until close to the Guibara estuary seems to be barren of any archaeology of any age. The first monument we come upon is situated in Tomb Lock. It is a Cranog. Cranogs were used as dwellings for over five millennia, from the Bronze Age to as late as the 17th, early 18th century. Normally, Cranogs are constructed of timber, brushwood, earths, stones and wickerwork built up from the lake bottom in order to create an artificial island. A circular palisade timber wall is constructed around the perimeter of the island, while inside houses and other structures would have been built. Cranogs were used for a variety of purposes, including as domestic dwellings, workshops and storage facilities. In some cases, they were also used for defensive purposes, as they provided a secure location that was easily defensible against attack. We would say that these are the watery versions of ring folks that would have housed family units. In Donegal, however, many natural islands were turned into cranogs, often with the stone causeway from it to the lake shore. The next site we visit is Kilkenny Chapel of Ease, which is a chapel of ease for the 6th century St. Colin's monastic settlement on Inish King Island. Used by pilgrims who were doing the journey from Derry Lacano to Dugri, and when it was not possible to cross the strand to Inish King Island. St. Colin's monastery consists of two churches and a series of cross labs including the Swan Cross Lab, Internet Lab, two holy wells and two saints' beds known as St. Conan's Bed and St. Joseph's Bed. There's an annual pilgrimage to the Inishkeen between the 12th of May and the 22nd of September each year. 